Hello, dear drum community. My name is Timon Groth and welcome to my channel, Jazz Drummer's Corner. This video is all about the typical jazz swing pattern. The swing pattern is one of, if not the key element of jazz drumming. I want to show you how to master it and make it sound with the right drive. Let's go. The swing pattern is the heart of the drums in many jazz pieces. It is so important because it is usually one of the most constant elements in jazz drumming. It provides the foundation on which the rest of the drumming can build. The swing pattern is extremely important in jazz music because it creates the driving pulse. Before we dive into the details of the swing pattern, let's take a brief look at the history of the pattern. Originally, the swing pattern was not played on cymbals, but on various percussion parts, such as the snare drum, cowboys, etc. In early jazz history, it was only used sporadically and for short passages. Over time, however, the swing pattern became increasingly popular. So much for the history in a nutshell. But how do you get the drive into the swing pattern that is often played on the right nowadays? First of all, we are talking about jazz drumming, which is closely linked to the tradition of walking bass, including traditional jazz from New Orleans and Chicago, big band swing, bebop, cool jazz, hard bop, and model jazz. For today's lesson, we will focus precisely on these. The quarter notes are crucial. If you listen to recordings of great jazz bassists from the jazz styles I just mentioned, You'll notice that they play the quarter notes dynamically and evenly to create drive in the music. We call this style of playing walking bass. A walking bass is a musical term that is often used in jazz and some other styles of music. Please watch my video why walking bass in 4 and in 2 are important for drummers. In this video you will learn what these terms mean and how you can use them in your drumming. As just mentioned, quarter notes are our important interface with bassists. You can also see how important quarter notes are in swing and in the swing pattern in general by the way you speak the swing pattern. As a rhythmic language, I speak the swing pattern as follows. Ding, 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 ding. I speak the quarter notes ding, the skipped note on the eight note triplet A. When speaking, all dings are about the same volume, the A a little softer. Pay attention again. Ding, ding, a ding, ding, a ding, ding, a ding, ding, a ding. I wouldn't think of emphasizing the ding in one place. That would seem strange. Ding, ding, a ding, ding, a ding, ding, a ding, ding, a ding. Or ding, ding, a ding, ding, a ding, ding, a ding, a ding, a ding. That swings. Not really. But ding, 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 does. It is already clear from the language that the quarter notes in the swing should have the same dynamic. Let's now take a closer look at the sound of the swing pattern. As we have just heard, the quarter notes form the basis for the walking base of basses. And the same applies to our swing pattern. The swing pattern is not only our contribution to the groove of the music, it also forms the basis for the interaction with our percussion elements such as snare drum, bass drum, etc. Similar to many African music traditions, for example, where there are recurring rhythms, the swing pattern helps us to structure the beat and polyrhythm in jazz music. The even dynamics of the quarter notes are the key to creating a good swing. But how can you achieve this feel? A good striking technique is crucial to making the swing pattern swing. The following principles of movement help to play the quarter notes evenly and to make the transitions between louder and softer strokes, the so-called skip notes, smooth. Downstroke, upstroke and full stroke are terms from percussion technique that can be used for better clarification. Famous drum teachers such as George Lawrence Stone, the author of Stick Control, Sanford Moeller, who gave his name to the popular Moeller technique, and Billy Gladstone used these terms at least in part. However, I would like to emphasize here 
that my explanations of the strokes shown here are not directly related to the techniques and explanations of these three gentlemen, but I do use the terms of clarify and classify the aid of the stroke and the sequence of the movements. Let's go into detail. As we will be concentrating on the swing pattern on the right symbol, my hand position for the following exercises corresponds to the position known as the French grip, in which the thumb rests loosely and without pressure on the top of the stick, with the stick resting on the other fingers in a kind of guideline. No pressure is exerted on the stick at any point of contact. The French grip position results from the position of the right and a comfortable arm and body position. I also want to avoid weight on the stick during the swing pattern so that the sound of the cymbal and the stick sound as open as possible. Now we will do several exercises for the movements of a downstroke, upstroke and full stroke to help you understand and implement them. I'll start by showing you some exercises on the pad, but you can also do them on a snare drum or directly on the right cymbal. Let's start with the full stroke. The full stroke is a hit from the wrist that starts at the top and immediately goes back up with the rebound after hitting the surface where the movement ends. The hand is closed in the starting position without exerting pressure on the stick, the index finger. Middle finger and little finger surround the stick. The stick is in contact with the fingers. The stick lies in the fingers. In this position, the fingers follow the stick with the downward and upward movement, but they give the stick enough space so as not to restrict its flight path. The fingers are not static. The upward movement ends at the starting point. The downstroke is a stroke that starts at the top and remains at the bottom after hitting the surface as close as possible to the hitting area. The hand and finger position are identical to the full stroke. Allow the rebound after the stroke. The position of the wrist in relation to the forearm and the finger ensure that the stick remains at a low height above the surface. The upstroke. The counterpart to the downstroke starts at the bottom just above the surface and goes upwards after the surface has been touched where the movement ends. Tap the surface lightly with the stick and then move your wrist upwards. Avoid additional swings. Here too the finger positions are the same as for the other two movements. Full stroke and downstroke should have the same volume. The upstroke is quieter than the full stroke and downstroke. The difference in volume initially results solely from the aid of the stroke. The higher you hold the stick above the surface, the louder the sound will be. Experiment with different stroke aids to control the volume of the quarter notes and ensure that they sound even. To train the volume of the beats and prepare your body for the demands of the swing pattern, please perform the following exercises. I recommend practicing the exercises on a practice pad first and then transferring them to the right symbol. Start by practicing the three techniques separately and slowly, each one on its own. Only full strokes at first. Now alternate between the downstroke and the upstroke.
Very important at this point, it makes no sense to combine the full stroke with the down stroke or the up stroke alternately. The full stroke can only stand alone or at least in triple constellations with down stroke and up stroke as in the following exercise. Start with the full stroke, followed by a down stroke with the subsequent up stroke and repeat this several times. The last exercise was the technical sequence of strokes in the swing pattern, but you heard it, it wasn't the right rhythm yet. To do this, the upstroke must become a skip note and the pattern must be interpreted in triplet 8 notes. I count my triplet 8 notes as follow. 1 tita, 2 tita, 3 tita, 4 tita. The full stroke is performed on beat 1, the down stroke on beat 2, the up stroke on the third triplet of 2, 2 ta, the full stroke on beat 3, the downstroke on beat 4 and finally the upstroke again on the third triplet of 4, 4 ta, from here on it repeats. To consolidate the whole pattern rhythmically, I would like to recommend the following sticking, which I call the swing a diddle. In this sticking, the triplets that are not included in the classic swing pattern are quietly added by the other hand. This creates a continuous rhythm in triplet 8 notes. The beats that are not played in the swing pattern are the 1T and 1TA, the 2T, the 3T, the 3TA and the 4T. I play these beats quietly with my left hand, as my right hand plays the swing pattern straight away. But for now, just my left hand. One tita, two tita, three tita, four tita, 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 one. If I now put the right hand and the left hand together I get the following sticking. Right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right. The sticking sounds like this without any special emphasis. Now we add the rehearsed movements in the right hand and the whole thing sounds like this on the pad. Finally, I now play the right hand on the right and my left hand on the snare drum. Be sure to use a metronome when practicing. Start slowly. Control your movements and your sound. You can also use jazz recordings or playlongs where you play along with recordings of jazz pieces to apply what you've learned. Record yourself and listen to how you sound. For the hardcore among you, it also makes sense to practice the movements and swing pattern with the weaker hand, which is an excellent workout. If you have any questions or would like more information, Please comment below this video. You can also reach me via social media or send me an email to timo at deinschlagslehrer.de. All contacts can also be found in the description of this video. I'm always happy to answer your questions. I hope 
you found this video helpful and if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like. Thank you very much and see you soon. Take care.